welcome back again. Um, so today we're going to be install or starting to install the flooring. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting some timbers in the steelwork that I'll show you in a second, um, and then over the next two or three days, hopefully start getting some timbers across. Now I can't do the full attic at this stage because there's some pipe work and stuff that needs moving out of the way. But my plan is at least if I can do sort of half, um, can then get some flooring down, even if it's not down permanently just like loosely down and that way I'll have a nice area where I can work and cut stuff and put tools and, and that type of thing so that's the plan um, also while I remember if you have a look on Instagram and look for renovate and burn cottage on Instagram you can follow us on there as well so I'm trying to get a few followers on Instagram so please do that if you haven't already but anyway I'll show you the flooring now the original beam like you can see And this is only I've started putting some timber in. So the timber's not bolted back or anything yet, it will be getting bolted back. What I've got there is a 50mm by 170 uh, and it's a C24 structural grade timber. Um, it wasn't actually treated when I got it but I have treated it with a an anti-rot, an anti-bug sort of insect treatment um, and I'll put a picture of that up here so you can see what it is we've treated it with and even the treated wood, any time I cut the treated wood I'll re-coat it with that stuff I've bought just to, to keep on top of it I mean it's obviously dry up here but you never know like bugs and insects and stuff and I think it's part of the building regs it was supposed to be so that's why I've done that um, so my plan is the the beams are a hundred mil deep, sort of from the front to the web, and then the same on the back. Um, so what I've got is two fifty mil pieces of timber, um, put one in front of the other, and then bolt it through, um, and then I'll hang the joist hangers off that. Um, so that's how we're going to go for now. I'm doing here. So where the flange plate is in the joist. Obviously there's a bolt coming through, so the back timber goes in fine, which is 50mm deep, that sort of slid behind the bolt, so you can probably see that in the corner of the video there, but the top timber is not going now. Um, but I want the timber to come as sort of close up as I can, just sort of bolt it through. So what I've done is I've measured the height of the top bolts, measured the height of the bottom bolts. See on the timber here, I've got a rip out line. I'll just use this square edge of the saw. So. Super duper pencil snapped. Now it's obviously going to be hidden under the floor this so it's I'm not too concerned but Bigger ones at the bottom, so this is the top. It really matters, but... And then, so this is the short 1.8 metre section. For the longer section, I'll need to do the same thing again. And then, unfortunately, there's a tiny little gap at the end, so I'll stick a bit of packing in the tiny gap at the end. Um, but that should be uh, that should be fairly straightforward. So there's the cut, fairly nice and square. What I'll do is I'll put a bit of my wood treatment on it and before I bolt it in, I'm going to put it in now loosely just to make sure it fits, but I'll put a bit of my wood treatment on before I bolt it in properly and then that'll be it and see if it fits. So there we are, I've just slid it in there. It all nicely fits in. Obviously, like I said, I haven't bolted it in. And we'll go and do the longer section. Same thing again. And then there's a couple of little packers to go at the very ends. Um, it's not on, actually on a joist run the end, but I'm going to put a couple of packers in anyway, just so it keeps it nice and uniform all the way through. Um, and then probably tomorrow we'll have a look at getting joist hangers in, a couple of joists across and 
Another little update. So I've uh, got the timber in loosely, I've not bolted in or anything. I've got my 12 mil spare bit that I got from Lee, the bit from tool station, tool station or screw fix, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to go along the timber now and drill through where the existing holes are in the joist um, because that's where I'll be putting the bolts through to bolt this timber to the steel girder. Might need to put a couple of extra ones in depending on where the cuts are because obviously, I mean, I'm happy with that because the floor's sort of starting here. There's a fireplace here, I don't know if you can see it in the video. So the first joist will be sort of coming across like that on the joist hanger. Um, so I've got a bolt just before it and there'll be one after it, so that's fine. We might find where like the flange plate is and stuff, it needs some extra ones. But I'll go along it, mark them all, and then I might need to go back along with my steel bit and drill a couple of extra holes on the steel itself. I'm going to put the joists in today. I've just been marking out, so we're going at the, on the drawing that shows them at a 400mm centre. So I've got my first one here marked out. I don't know how much of the video you can see, but the fireplace here. So the first joist sort of run along here, and then we've got another. 400, I think it's that mark there, another 400 that mark there, and so on. So my plan is, I'm going to get the first one in, make sure it's all level, see where it's at, and then I'll square the rest of them up after the first one. I've just roughly put some marks on, just so I know. The only place it looks like it's going to be a little bit awkward is where this connection is. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to sort of sight it so that the joist hangers at one side or the other a bit. You have to put a bit of timber across just to fix it too, but um, hopefully that shouldn't be too much of an issue, but we'll, we'll see. Like I say, for now, I'm going to get the first one in, so I'm going to measure from one girder to the other girder, get the first one in and go from there. I'm going to measure up, so I'm going to measure up from one side to the other, go and cut the joist, hopefully we'll only have to cut it the once, and then we'll try putting it in and see where we get from there. So put it on my pencil mark, the one that's not rubbed out. Like at the top, bottom, or the middle? The bottom. bottom. I'll actually go for the middle. Here on? Yep. Have you pulled it tight? So it's 4,050 millimetres, exactly, so 4,050 exactly, there's no back in these hangers, so put it down, um, the top of the joist will just be onto there so it's not going to move anywhere and that will also be level with the main runner that's going across the structural piece that we can't take out, so we'll have like a clearance like that. Uh, which is basically the lowest we can have the floor without taking that structural piece out. Um, that'll also give us a good bit of space to get some more insulation in here at a later date. So for now, I'm going to go down there, um, cut the piece of wood, 4050 millimetres, um, and go from there. So, I've just got that upstairs. There's a bit of a fight on it, and probably from my own breathing. Try and get it in over here now.
you can see there I've got the first joist in at the back from hanger to hanger and nicely leveled up, squared up so just carry on with them now so 400 centres all the way back to here so I'm going to go down cut another one come and put it in and just work along hopefully get three or four in a night before it's time to pack up a bit of a, an update on the video um, got one two three four joists in from end to end and I'm getting the fifth one in now um, and that'll be the last for tonight and um, tomorrow I want the next crack on which should be tomorrow I want to get three more joists in and then I want to put the joist straps in and then at that point that'll probably be about as far as we can go in here um, before we need to sort of do stuff at this other side of the attic like look at the plumbing look at sort of openings for staircases and stuff like that so my plan is hopefully um, it's Sunday today I'm off Monday Tuesday so my plan is hopefully over the next couple of days get the remaining three joists in get the straps in to strap all the joists together in the centres get some insulation in get the boards laid on that first half or a couple of sections of board whatever wherever it's sort of a natural finish is um, and then from that that'll give us a good working platform for doing everything else so from that I'll then probably maybe go on and looking at doing a bit of plumbing work um, to get the boiler out the way once the boiler's out the way can then do a little bit more flooring um, probably I'll, what I'll probably do is get as much flooring done as I can um, probably up to where we think the staircase is going to go or somewhere around there anyway um, and then look at sort of other stuff like um, windows and, and stud work and what have you so well, I'm just done putting another joist in now I just thought I'd talk you through a little bit about how I'm getting them in because it is a bit of a faff on and the big joist that's an off cutter one but you can, you can sort of see how, how big it is compared to a mobile phone compared to a mobile phone as you can see they're quite quite big joists and they're really heavy so what I'm doing is I've got the joist hangers at either side but I don't know if you can see but they're not you'll see in a minute they're not actually nailed on or anything yet because I'm trying to get it all leveled um, which is a bit of a task in itself in place, literally just manhandling them. So I've let it drop down there. So I've let it drop down there between the two joist hangers. What I'll do now if I put my spirit level, show them when it fits in and everything, I'll put my spirit level across, get it sort of levelled at this end from side to side, maybe just put a couple of nails in loosely in the joist hangers that I can get out again if I need to. Make sure I've got my 400 centres and then I'll go from there. So I'm at this end, this is the opposite end to where you've just sit, which you've just seen. Uh, again, the joist hanger's not in, it's just resting on the it's just sort of up against there, so sort of resting on the uh, girder, but if you put any weight on it, it would push through. So I'm just being careful at the minute. The ceilings underneath are going to get plasterboarded and skimmed, so it's not a massive issue. If you weren't doing anything to your ceilings underneath and you weren't want to damage your ceiling underneath, I'd probably be a bit more careful and maybe have some timbers across to rest it on. Um, although in saying that, we've done several joists up to now and there's been no issues with the, the timbers underneath or anything, the ceiling underneath, so I think as long as you're careful you're alright. If you're getting a nice snug fit, obviously you don't want to be pushing the, the girder but you want it nice and snug um, to go on in, although we will be putting the ties in. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just making sure I've got the same sort of distance at this side, so I've still got my 400mm centre. 
um, just so it's square. I'd say against the original joist it's fairly square but I mean we don't really know how, how square these original joists were to begin with. Um, level front to back is fine but if I put it this way um, you can see it loads lower so it is a bit of an art form getting it right so we'll, we'll move it up and see what happens to that level front to back. Not very much, it might have been alright anyway. Too much. So there, my spirit level is nice and flat across them all. It's level. <coughs> no doubt this bit will have changed. It's actually alright. Still in between the bubbles, it's slightly off centre, but I mean, the, the obviously is a slight tolerance. Just yeah, I mean, it's spot on that way. Spot on there. I think there's, there obviously is some slight deviation in the timber itself, although it is supposed to be construction grade C24 timber. I think you're getting a couple of mil sort of discrepancy because you have it bang on level here you might have it bang on level yeah I mean it's fair, near enough bang on there actually it's right on there so depending on where you have it on the same bit of timber it does adjust slightly and... right so you can see on the camera now we've got all the joists across off of this first half I've got the cross straps in so I'm going to fill them up with insulation now. So the insulation's 200 mil thick. Um, so I'll put the insulation in and then get some boards on top at some point. We've got the insulation down. That's 200 mil thick insulation. So I'm going to get a couple of boards up now and just lay them down to see how they're going. This video has sort of been filmed across uh, three or four months, although obviously it's all going to go online in one video, so you'll be watching it in one video now. Um, but what you'll see is since the original piece of flooring was put in, so this is sort of the original floor that you're seeing up to. Um, we've now installed our staircase, um, which is just over there. So that's the new staircase, which sort of leads all the way down the stairs. Uh, we've also put some Velux windows in the attic, um, moved some pipes for plumbing and stuff. Um, and if you're interested in any of that, we've got loads of other videos, so have a look on our other videos. Follow us on Instagram, renovating underscore vein underscore cottage because we'll put loads of little mini videos on there as we're going along. But anyway, back to this, uh, the job in hand. So last weekend, and if you watch the stair installation video, you might see a little bit of it. But last weekend, I put another few of the joists in. Um, what we've got to do this weekend is basically a bit of trimming up. So this section over at the right end of the stair, that's not going to be an area that we walk on it's possibly not even going to be an area that's open but what i thought is i'm going to trim it up so i'm going to put another three or four i think it is um pieces of timber in there um which will which will so i'm going to put another three or four pieces of timber in there 
which will allow me to board it out now because there will be a piece of stud wall going across there. Um, and I may sort of put some sort of access hatch into the eaves at that point, so it'll be nice just to have a bit of firm ground there for that. So I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, we need to put the sort of um, bracing support in, so all that's got to go in today. This beam that's straight in front of the stair, I had to put it in like that be just so I could install the staircase. But uh, really, we want to double up with that beam. So I've got some double joist hangers, um, and I'll show you them when I come to install it. You can see there, it's just on the single hanger at either side at the minute. So it's just on the single hanger at either side at the minute, but I want to double up on that beam. Um, just because it's got the sort of the stairs against it and stuff, and it's probably a high traffic sort of area and stuff. Um, and the original drawing recommended that was doubled up, so we'll double up on it. Um, so I'll be good doing that today. So my first job, which is a hopefully fairly straightforward job is just to put two or three pieces in there um, it's actually one two three four four in total so we'll probably put four in just to keep it right with the other side uh, so we'll do that first we'll then double up this main beam at the front um, we'll then let's have a look after that then got some cross supports to put in so we'll probably put them in and then the final job i'll do is there's a bit of brickwork to do at the back so we'll do the brickwork at the back and then once that brickwork at the back's done particularly on the side next to the boiler so on this side here and I'll, I'll try and zoom in a little bit so this side here at the right end of the boiler there's a bit of brickwork to do there and really I'll need to do that brickwork before I put the last joist in so I'll go over so you can see like I say there's four pieces of timber that are going along here they're all going at 400 centres so I'll centre off um, I'll centre off all the way along make sure they're at 400 centres um, and then we'll go from there I've got the noggins in over on the right hand side there and the bit of joist um, like I say, it's not actually going to be an area where you walk that, but there will be a bit of wall going up there. And there may be some access in the eaves, so um, it's done. If I don't need it, I don't need it, but it's nicely trimmed off now. It's all tied in, so I'm pleased with that. As you can see, I've got a couple of the noggins in there. Um, but my next main job now, um, I'm going to do a bit of brickwork. So I'm going to do a bit of brickwork next, so... Over there, you can see, need a few bricks. Um, and there's one in the middle there. Bit of sand and cement around that, and there's a couple down the down the bottom. So, several bits of bricks to get in. Once I've got them bricks in, uh, I've got another joist just to run underneath the boiler there. Um, once that's in, the noggins, and then a bit of trimming up. Um, and so I've tidied up the brickwork around there. And over there, it's a little bit overexposed with the sun there actually. And the brickwork there. So now I've got a final joist to put in under the boiler there. Um, just, and we need to dress the original ones in. See over this side. I've already got the original ones dressed in there at the bottom. A little bit to do over there behind that uh, RS chair. It's uh, definitely taking shape. So today, just before we go and lay the floor, I've just been doing a bit of plumbing. So you can see there, I've just tapped off the hot and cold. Just ran them along. A bit overexposed with the light, but anyway, just run them along, and they're just dropping down into the front of the house. That's where we're probably going to move the bathroom to. So I thought before we put the floor and stuff down, just get them down. So I've done the plumbing now. Next, we're going to have a good tidy up up here. Move all, because if you have a look behind you, it's quite a lot of bits of tools and equipment and stuff in here. So. 
going to uh, move all that out of the way, I'll have a bit of a clean up and then um, have a look at putting some insulation and stuff down. I'll move the stuff that I don't think we're going to need for now anyway. There's Alicia busy in herself. So you can see now I've just started putting the floor and sheets down. So still got this half to do. So I'm gonna get a couple more down tonight and then hopefully finish it off next weekend. So I'm just at the final stage of the floor now. Um just got this little patch over here to do. What I do need to do is that post there. And slightly back unfortunately. So I don't want to move it from under this beam just in case it's supporting anything. I'm just going to have to cut the uh, nails out with my wood saw, get in behind it, same at the bottom, and then move it back so it's flush and then re-secure it. Once I've done that, I can lay the floor and hopefully I'll get the rest of the floor run down today, uh, which is Saturday. And then uh, my next sort of task up here, once the floor's down, I'll be to start the uh, stud work. So. Hopefully making good progress. So I've got that back section in now. Just cut along it with the circular sort of make it fit in. Yeah. So I've just got that little section there to go in now. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic floor finished off. And from the other angle. And that's it, just looking the other way. And the sheets themselves, the 1.2 metres by 2.4 by 22 mil. Um, good solid floor. Um, the sheets, like I say, it is what it is. Um, it's all screwed down. Uh, 50 mil wood screws I've used. 4 mil, 4 by 50 mil. Um, I'm pleased with it. So the next stage in the loft conversion is to uh, do the stud work. So some stud walls to go along that side, some stud walls to go along that side, some stud work when you come up, come up the stairs, and then some stud work behind us here. So um, if you watch our next video, you'll see all that. If you have a look on our Instagram, renovating underscore vein underscore cottage put loads of little photos and videos as we're going along on there and if you sort of like and subscribe on here as we're doing anything else in the house there's loads that we'll be doing over the next year or two uh, we'll put loads of little short videos on so you can get a basic idea of what we're doing and how we're doing it thanks for watching So, um, can you see me in a video or something? So, now... Dave! Dave, he's had you've spoiled my full video! If I don't talk and you can hear me talk on the camera, do you not think I'm going to be videoing something? Oh. You, could, you can hear me, you just do it deliberately! You talking? You! There's a leash on honey, not helping.